Um, I'm going to start with uh, my y-intercept. Okay, so whoops. Uh, to get my y-intercept, I'm going to set x equals 0. So y is equal to negative 2, uh, 0 plus 2, 0 minus 3, which is negative 2 times 2 times negative 3. So y equals 12. Uh, the point on the graph is going to be 0, 12. Okay. 0, 12 is way up here, which is fine. Okay, to get my x-intercepts now, I'm going to do the same thing in green. So x-intercept is going to be set y equals 0. So it's 0 equals negative 2x plus 2 x minus 3. So here we have x plus 2 equals 0. Here we have x minus 3 equals 0. So you have x equals negative 2. And you have x equals 3. Points here are going to be negative 2 comma 0 and 3 comma 0. Now just as I'm pausing here, um, once you have your x-intercepts labeled, you know that the vertex is going to be in the middle. So where should the vertex look like if you're, it's going to be close to? It looks close to zero to me, right? Secondly, and I'm looking at also when I say this, okay, once you have your x-intercepts labeled, try and use as much graphics as possible. Like Alistair's graph, graph is correct, but he did his x's up to like eight or something on a negative eight or something around the left and to the right. So your u looks sort of like this, right? So try if you can, right? You know what I mean? To make a wide graph. That's just, I'm just picking on you because I saw your graph. Probably three fourths of the class did the same thing. Okay, make sense so far? Okay, vertex is coming up last. Uh, to get this exit, whoops. Uh, to get my uh, axis, it's going to say x equals uh, negative 2 plus 3 over 2 which is 1 over 2, which is 0 0.5. I'm going to draw that on here. Here's my axis symmetry right here. Oops, sorry. And then to get my y, it's going to be y equals um, negative 2, 0 0.5 plus 2, 0 0.5 minus 3 which is negative 2 times 2.5 times negative 2.5, which is 12.5, is that right? Yeah. Therefore, my vertex is 0 0.5 and 12. Okay, so what I want all of you to do tonight is go to your parents and show them this wicked cool graph and impress them. Okay, because this is an impressive graph daily. Um, I think it is though. So I'm going to connect the dots here, clear this up, then I'll answer questions here in a sec. Uh, this is where it says y equals negative 2. Okay, so if you look, go one sec, one sec. This graph opened downwards. So this is the first graph we've seen the entire year that the graph looks like this. What was different with this graph from the other five we've done so far? It is, it is downward, but why is this one? What's different with this one and the rest of them? Because the vertex is decimals. Uh, decimals, yes, but the vertex is this. But what about the equation tells me to think that this is going to be a downwards equation? Downward. Well, yeah, but there's something to say negative. What part negative. is negative? Negative 2. Yeah, negative 2, right? So if the number in front of the brackets is positive, it's going to look like this. Right, if the bracket, if the number in front of the bracket is negative, it's going to open downwards. And we'll deal with that a lot more as we go on here. What I'm hoping that you got out of today, one second, sorry to keep stopping it. What I'm hoping you got out of today was x intercepts, axis symmetry, vertex. Okay, that's the sort of the three things for that. Practice these this weekend. If you're saying to yourself, right, yes? If you're saying to yourself, my name is Bailey, I don't feel good about graphic parabolas, or my name is Hannah, I'm texting while my teacher's talking, that's very rude. Um, what you should do, there's more than just 4D you can try. There's always number four to graph like that. Okay, so if you're not sure, please try more than just the one. Sorry to interrupt there. Go ahead. I'm going to stop and then. Um,